Hello, it's time again for another Tips and Tricks with Lynn. I hope you're having a great week so far. Today we're going to focus on taking your drawing files and converting them into PDF or some other raster format. So I'm going to actually use the Add a Plotter wizard because it's super friendly and easy to use and, and I'm all for anything that makes it simple, right? We're of course going to say we want to save our PDFs on our own computers. And here you'll see a variety of formats. One of these, of course, is DWF, which I'm a huge fan of and which I would love for you to be able to save your file formats at, out to over PDFs. They're like half the size of PDFs. Uh, they're smarter, they're easier to work with, but I realize that many times you have no choice and you absolutely have to save out to a PDF file. So we'll pick PDF and we'll go through here and pretty much you could just kind of go by these extra steps. And then, of course, you want to name it. We're gonna use the default, which is the name of PDF, which you can call it whatever makes you happy. And if you want to go into more details and control some other config, some other options in the configuration, you can do so. But pretty much, you're finished. And that creates a, a basically a plotter that plots out to PDF. And that means next time you go in the plot command, you will see that option of PDF available to you. Um, I'm actually going to go back into that auto pl add a plotter wizard because I want to also show you the advantages of using this to save your files to a raster file. You will see if you drop this list down, not too many people realize it, you can actually say I want to save my drawing files under specific raster file formats. You'll see over here there's JPEG, there's BMP, there's all kinds of options here available to you. And this allows you, instead of the export command, which takes everything in your drawing out to a, to a format like, like a BMP file. This allows you, of course, using the plot command to decide exactly what gets saved in that file. And there's a variety of other things in here that you can work with. You will see as we, as we wander through here that we have the ability to also control the resolution. So, you know, decide for yourself how sharp of a resolution you actually need. Of course, the, the, you know, the, the larger the resolution, of course, the larger the file is going to be. So there's a couple more options for you there. And I want to also mention to you that there is this great system variable that came out inside of AutoCAD 2008 called Publish Collate. If you use sheet sets, the Publish Collate system variable, if you have it set to one, allows you to create a multiple sheet PDF file, which has been a big wish list request, right? You just need to make sure that Publish Collate is set to one. And I also should tell you that you have to be using your Sheet Set Manager in order to get this to work properly. And here's my biggest tip of them all. I think you're going to really like this. If you have to use PDFs, one of the biggest complaints is that they're so darn big, right? Well, do yourself a favor. Make a DWF out of your join files first and then make a PDF out of them and your files will be half the size. So that's a great tip. You can even go this route and create multiple sheets PDF files. So over and out, have a great rest of the week and I look forward to seeing you next week.